Okay, so for this problem right here, we would be determining the plastic moment capacity of this member right here. So this would be a two-span continuous beam. Okay, so if you would be solving for a problem similar to this, what you would be doing is that you would be dividing this per span. So if you would be having three spans, you would be dividing it by 3. So as you can see here, this would be in a span of 2. So what I would be doing once again is that I would be dividing this into two spans, which is, well, this one right here. And after which, I would individually draw their collapse mechanisms. So for this one right here, which is on the first one, so pretend that this is to be its original geometry. So this one right here. And its collapse mechanism would be as follows. So it would be this one right here. So there, and from this one right here, its collapse mechanism would be as follows. So it would be like this and like this, since our load is to be in this point right here. So this is to be its plastic hinge in this location right here. Okay, and as for this span right here, this load is acting on the mid span so meaning it would just divide this into two so its plastic hinge would be in this middle part right here which is well here okay so this would be the hinges but take note guys that in this i mean in this portion right here let's pretend that this is to be a roller or a hinge so whatever the case may be so let's say that this is to be your roller this one right here is to be a real hinge. So let's just color it, uh, let's say green. So this green color right here indicates that it is indeed a real hinge. So there, and as for this one right here, so as you can see, it came from the mid-span of our member. So from that, this is to be a plastic hinge. This one is to be a plastic hinge. And this one right here on the left most, since this is to be a fixed support. So this is also to be a plastic hinge if it fails. Okay, so from that, we would now be solving for the angles and for this um, deflection right here. For us to use the equation P, times delta is equal to our plastic moment times um, theta or the summation of our plastic hinges or the summation of the angles of our plastic hinges. So I would just be uh, writing it here. So in this case right here on the right side, so it, it would be easy. So it would be very similar to this one right here. So if this is 3m, so this is 3 meters and this and this right here is, let's say, uh, let's say this is to be angle theta. And if that is to be angle theta, this is also to be angle theta since this is to be symmetrical in nature. And after that, in this part right here, so this is to be for your value for your delta. And your delta via um, small angle theory, if this is to be 3 meters, so this length right here is to be 3 meters times theta. So 3 theta. So now that we have this ones already, we would be making use of this formula right here. Then we would be comparing it with this part right here and check the higher value of our nominal moment. So it would be like that. But let's solve for that later. Let's uh, concentrate on here first. So as you can see, unlike on your right side, which is this one right here, this theta right here, is not equal to this angle right here. Or let's say that if I want this to be my theta, it wouldn't be um, the same as with this one right here. So you would be choosing on what side you, you want your theta to be in. And in my case, I think I want my theta to be in here. So let's say that this is to be my angle theta. And from that, if this is to be 4 meters and this is to be 2 meters respectively, so using our small angle theory, so this length right here or the delta of this plastic hinge right here is to be equal to 4 times theta. So 4 theta. So that would be this length right here. 
So using this for theta right here, we can now solve for this angle right here. And let's say that this angle right here is to be um, phi. So let's say that that is to be phi. And once again, using um, small angle theory, so for theta is equal to, so it would be 2 meters times phi. So 2 meters times phi. So this, this is once again via small angle theory. So I would just be writing it here. So for your small angle theory, that is to be sine theta is equal to tangent theta is equal to theta in radians. So tangent theta, once again, is equal to opposite over adjacent. So in this case, opposite is equal to, so if this is to be your angle, opposite is equal to 4 theta divided by, so 4 theta divided by what, to, what would be the adjacent part, it would be 2 meters. So 2 meters is equal to your theta in region. So that is to be, I mean, this angle right here. So it may not necessarily be theta. So as long as it would be the small angle, which is this one right here. So phi. So solving for this, I mean, simplifying this equation right here, you would be arriving at this particular um, formula right here. So there. And solving for the value for, uh, for phi. So from here, our phi would now be equal to, so I would just be dividing this by 2 meters and I would be dividing this by 2 meters. So meaning our phi right here would now be equal to 2 theta. So 2 meters, 2 meters there. So our phi is to be equal to 2 theta. So I would just be erasing this for my workspace to be neat. So I would just be erasing this once again since I know the value of this already, which is 2 theta theta and as you can see i don't have any space anymore so like like in the previous examples i would just be copying this to the next slide so which is this one right here so i would be moving it up here so there and so that i can have a space right here to solve so i would be solving for this first so for the first part using this equation right here so for your external energy that is to be, oh, by the way, so that is to be 300 kilonewtons times 4 theta. So that is for your P delta. So in your P delta, that is to be 300 kilonewtons times delta, which is 4 theta. So times 4 theta is equal to so what would be our internal energy or, or our internal work done? So it would be MP times the summation of your of the angles of your plastic hinges. So for your plastic hinges, so I have forgotten to label this. So by geometry, this line right here has an angle of, so that is to be 2 theta plus theta, which is 3 theta. And as for this one right here, so I'll just be moving it here. So as for this angle right here, this is to be, so theta plus theta, that is to be 2 theta. So basic, uh, I mean basic um, trigonometry. So once again, this is to be 3 theta. And this one right here is to be 2 theta. Okay, so from that, our internal energy right here would be MP. So let's uh, let's say that that is to be color blue just for it to be um, written in another color. So MP times the angles of the plastic hinges. So our plastic hinges would be this one, this one, this one, and this one. Though as you can see right here that this... Um, that this support right here is to be a roller support. It is still, I mean, it would still be a plastic hinge if, if it would fail because that there is the presence of moment here. So if you would be having a certain moment here, you would also be having a certain moment here because of its continuous nature. So if you would be getting the summation of forces and moments about that point, you would be having moments there and you would be having your shear and whatsoever. So that is why that this particular point right here is to be in, uh, I mean, is to be a plastic hinge. So, okay. So once again, this one point, I mean, this point right here is to be a plastic hinge. 
So once again, our theta here would be 2 theta plus 3 theta plus theta. So that is to be 6 theta. So once again, 3 plus 2 plus 1. And from that, we can now solve for our value for MP. So our plastic moment is to be equal to, so that is to be 300 times 4 divided by 6. So we would just be dividing this um, equation right here by 6 theta to get rid of 6 theta to arrive at an answer. So our MP, using the calculator on your left, so that is to be um, 300 times 4 divided by 6, and our answer here would be 200 kilonewton meter. So 200 kilonewton meter. So this is for this particular span right here. But what about for this second span right here? So for that second span, so similarly, so as you can see here, this is to be 200 kilonewtons. So meaning, we would be multiplying 200 kilonewtons. So 200 kilonewtons by our delta and our delta right here is to be 3 theta so 3 theta okay and this is to be equal to our value for our mp so our mp times the total angle of our plastic hinges and in this case so this is to be a plastic hinge so this is to be a plastic hinge and this right here is not to be a plastic hinge because if you would be seeing in this part right here, this is to be a roller support. And thus, this is to be a real hinge, this one right here. So, meaning by real hinge, it won't uh, resist any moment. Okay, so from that, our theta that we would be using for our plastic hinges would be as follows. So, it would just be 2 theta and theta. So, from that, that is to be um, 3 theta theta which is 2 theta plus theta so from that we can now solve for our value for our mp so our mp would be so divided by 3 theta and divided by 3 theta so our answer here would be mp is equal to 200 kilonewton meter so as you can see this is basically the same so both of them are the same. But for example, that your answer here would be MP is equal to 300 kilonewton meter. So this is to be our governing one. So this is to be the one that we would be using for our designs. But take note guys that this value right here is uh, is just the nominal loads. And, and that in this case, I have not considered LRFD. But once again, so... Let's say that I would just be copying this once again to the next slide. So once again, the one that would be governing for your um, plastic moment would be the one larger. So for example, that this MP right here would be, let's say MP is equal to 350 kilonewton meter. So this would be the one governing and not this. But since they are the same, so our MP is equal to 200 kilonewton meter. But if, for example, that in this case right here, this load, this loads right here used load combination. So let's say 1.2 times dead load plus 1.6 times live load. So meaning this is to be in PU. So meaning if that is to be in PU, the one that I have solved for here is to be MU. So meaning our MU, which is 200 kilonewton meter is to be phi mn and for you to get the value for mn so mn is equal to so 200 kilonewton meter so this is to be 0 0.9 so divide 0 0.9 divide by 0 0.9 and our mn if this is to be in lrfd is equal to so 200 divided by 0.9 so this is to be 222.22 kilonewton meter so that's if you are using i mean you are to consider lrfd and from that once that you have solved for this your mn is equal to so mn is equal to f y z of x so that is how you would be making use of our plastic analysis so there